Hey guys, uh, so um, welcome to the Lavender Project. I'm Tony Sauger, and today we're doing a short video. I mean, I don't know if it's really gonna be short, but it's not really about the kind of stuff that we usually um, put on our uh, channel. Um, it's not really anything too uh, creepy, or let's say just anything. It's a, it's a little different. You'll see. But it, I do tell you that uh, this shit is creepy. That what I'll be talking about. It's not creepy, it's, it's like, it's creepy, but for a different reason, and you'll see in a minute. Um, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about, um, video I'll be doing today, it's about the first ever sound recording. Now, um, if you guys don't know who Thomas Edison is, um, most people believe, I mean, it's, uh, apparently it's a fact in the history books, that Thomas, invent, uh, Thomas, uh, Edison, he invented the phonograph in 1877, which basically allowed you to record and play back sounds uh, through means of a record player. And um, so basically, uh, he invented this machine. However, uh, about a few years back, scientists actually, or someone, I'm not sure if it was a scientist who found it, but someone found a... Um, uh, a different machine that was invented 17 years before Edison's machine. And um, this was called the phonautograph. And now a phonautograph, uh, I never heard of the damn thing, but it was invented in 1860. And on April 9th of 1860, the man who invented this machine, uh, or actually maybe, I think it was a woman, um, sung a French song into this machine and now what this machine allowed you to do was it was basically an experimental machine used to record sound and also basically the experimental part was to uh, measure sound frequencies from back in the 1860s this guy invented that just for this so it was not this machine was not made to play back sounds it was merely made to record them so I don't know how that really helps but okay anyways so he made this uh, phonautograph and um he, I guess he tested it with a uh, one French song or something that, uh, I guess someone sung, uh, and it's, uh, by, uh, I think his name is Edward Leon Scott D. Martinville. Now, I'm pretty sure I have the, um, the pronunciation wrong, but I do not know how to pronounce anything French for the life of me. I sound white when I pronounce stuff. But anyways... Um, Edison's experiments were with wax cylinders. This was actually um, just a phonograph. I don't know what it was on. I uh, I don't know. But anyways, so I'm just gonna show you uh, right here. Uh, God damn it. Okay. So right here, um, my iPod's gonna die. Hopefully it doesn't. I have this uh, little uh, what's it called? Spectrograph machine that I'll also be using for another video. I've actually uh, used this machine back in uh, what's it called? Uh, when I used my, uh, when I did my Lavender Town tone videos, hold on, I'm gonna plug my iPod in really quick because I really don't want it to die in the middle of this video. I was playing a bunch of video games on it today in class because I was bored as hell. There we go. So anyways, um, this little thing right here is gonna basically measure the, um, I mean, I don't really need it for much. I just want it because I have the audio file on this and so that's how I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna measure the, what's it called? Uh, basically the waves of the sound uh, like I did in the Ruins of Alf tone video on my Lavender Town tone video. Uh, and I'll also be, this little button right here uh, lets me bring out the file um, for the music and I've actually step by step processed this to restore the music back to what it sounds like. Now the reason I'm doing a video on this is because one, I wanted to see what the hell the actual music sounded like because this machine sucked and two, the the real reason I'm doing this for this um, channel is because it's so creepy. I swear to God, I listened to this uh, basically back in last year. I found it, I think, and I listened to it on full volume in my earphones when it was dark and everyone was asleep. I got scared out of my freaking mind, and I'm not kidding. And this is nothing really scary, it's just an old, very old recording that sounds like crap. And uh, so I'll play it for you guys, actually. Um, let me see if I can uh, play this. So just listen closely. If you want to put in your headphones on full volume and turn off all the lights or whatever, you can. Go ahead, be scared. My friend actually said it sounded like a, a dying, a drowning baby, I think. But, I mean, yeah. He, he started laughing at it because he was high. But anyways, 
Uh, so, you guys tell me what this sounds like. Tell me what you think about this uh, recording. So. <laughs> That's hella creepy, isn't it? Sorry for I dropped the camera. I actually kind of got scared when I pressed the button. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, so um, this right here is basically the waves. Look how close together they are. That is horrible audio quality right there. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm going to press this little button over here a couple times, and it is going to basically restore the sound one by one. So um. I'm going to try to do this as best as possible, and uh, let me see, let me find the other file, the restored files right here. Um, Alright, so just listen to this. I, it took me a while to restore this myself, so just listen to uh, the file. And uh, here we go. Right. It's so creepy. Alright, so that's uh, number two restoration. Alright, here's number three. So you can hear it a little bit better now. At this point, you can tell it's a song. Number four. Yeah, so you can hear it right there. And finally, number five. Alright, so, there we go, I thought that was the last one, but apparently I put that on there, so I guess there's, a, I think I did six parts uh, for this video, but anyways, so that's basically, I just wanted to do that for the hell of it, uh, and I never actually, you know, checked the restored version until I made this video, however, I did restore it, so I mean, I guess I kind of heard it, but not really, but anyways, sounds good. Creepy audio. I just wanted to, you know, slap this on the channel, see what you guys thought. Just a random freaking video for the day because, um, actually, um, one, I've been having problems with, uh, you know, um, our video editor, Ricky, she hasn't been at school. I can't text her, can't get a whole roll over Facebook. So we can't get our videos edited anymore. That's why we don't have our intro up anymore. We don't have our outro. It kind of sucks. However, I did fix my laptop. So as soon as I buy a charger for the damn thing because the battery doesn't work and I lost my charger, um, I'm going to start editing videos myself. So, uh, I mean, yeah, no offense to her, but I don't think we'll really need her. Uh, she's not really doing anything anyways. Um, don't know what's wrong. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys that because I forgot to mention it in my last video. Uh, and also, one more thing before I end this video, uh, since I have a lot of time to show you guys. Um, so here's the new list uh, for uh, the Lavender Project. And um, so you can just look at these videos. Um, the gray ones are actually ones we've already did. Uh, super black ones are ones that I'm, I've been working on. Uh, ones in normal pen are the easiest videos. The ones in pencil are the harder videos to do. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Over here you see the key. You can read who does what video. Uh, these little symbols next to the video will tell you who wants, who wants to do which video. And this is not the only part of the list. Now this list actually has 75 video ideas. And uh, we've already done four? No, we've done, th yeah, four. Four on this side. And uh, this is the first time where I actually had to make the list go to another page. So here, these ones in uh, purple, these are actually places, places that we want to visit. Uh, uh, that we know we can get to, that we're able to visit if we actually try, so. And we have some more videos down here, and some other shit. If you guys don't know what some of this code means, I write it for myself, so. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments, in, down, down in the boss bar or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show you guys this list because, uh, didn't really have a good time of showing you guys it last time, and, uh, yeah. So tell me, uh, what you'd want to see for our next video, and I'll try to do it. Uh, if it's not too hard or whatever, if I uh, because I've been busy, guys. I need to get my driver's license. I was supposed to get it two years ago, but my car broke down. I need to get my GED. Um, I need to uh, find a job, which isn't really that hard. And um, what else do I need to do? I think there is something else that I needed to do, but I 
freaking forgot. But anyways, um, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this little short video. I hope you were creeped out as hell by this audio. I just wanted to do that for a hell and see. I mean, now that I have a, a usable subscriber base, I might as well use it with this. I mean, I was bored out of my mind, so I mean, I thought it was creepy. That's the only reason why I, uh, why I tried to do this in the first place was for you guys. So you guys know what the hell... Uh, this video is about, you guys can listen to the first recording ever made, apparently, and see what it really sounded like, and probably get freaked out. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about this video, and, uh, tell me if there's anything in the list you want to talk about. And as far as our video, ed video, video editing, we're fucked for now, so, um, sorry for you guys, uh, but we'll keep you guys posted on updates on our Facebook um, I don't really post a lot on the damn thing because we don't really have a lot of likes, so if you haven't liked our Facebook page, you should probably like it. Um... And yeah, so stay tuned for more Lavender Project videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, I heard you guys that you want to, uh, you want me to investigate the Creepy Creek Tunnel. Uh, and I got pretty good feedback on there, so just keep giving me more feedback, and I'll probably do it soon. Anyways, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.